much indeed. There are around, th excuse me, <clears throat> 34 million people in the world who are infected with HIV AIDS. Of those, around a million will die this year as a result of the illness. Those fortunate enough to be given or to be able to afford treatment usually take a cocktail of antiretroviral drugs, lots of pills in other words. However, a new single pill drug for HIV treatment has been developed after extensive clinical trials in the US. It's called QUAD. And joining me from Birmingham is Dr. Steve Taylor, who's an HIV specialist at Birmingham's Heartland Hospital. He's also the medical director of the Trust Saving Lives, which encourages testing for HIV. And Steve Taylor, I am aware that we've had this story before, a single pill which appeared to be solving the problem of the cocktail needed to treat HIV AIDS. Are you sure that unlike those which proved to be problematic, this new pill is different? It really does work. I think that there's, there's little question that if people take the pill that, that it will work. Um, the, the thing about having a, a single tablet is that it can make taking the pills very much easier. Um, but I think that as we've seen before with a single, t single tablet, the key really is that the patients are educated, that they understand the importance of taking them. Um, and once that is established, then obviously taking one pill once a day is a big step forwards. As you say, it's no question, it's easier. Is it also going to make it cheaper? Because we've mm. seen in, in developing countries, particularly Africa, it's, it's not just the complication of taking a cocktail, it's also the expense. No, I, I think that's absolutely a vital and a key point. And unless this new tablet is priced at a price in which health economies can afford it, then really it doesn't matter whether it works or not. Um, and that also doesn't just apply to the developing world, but we now know with the economic crisis in Europe that we are being, um, prices becoming a bigger and bigger issue um, in order to be able to afford to give our patients um, antiretroviral drugs. And so unless that the drugs are priced competitively, then that's going to cause a problem. So what's your understanding of the answer to that crucial question? Do you understand it from the manufacturers, the developers of this new single pill, that it will be priced che as cheap as possible and cheaper than the alternatives? Um, that is not something that I, I have information about. All I would do is that I would encourage it to be priced, uh, you know, not at a premium. Because um, I think if, if that is the case, then it's going to be very difficult to justify its usage. I mean, without a doubt, the current tablets that we have at the moment are extremely good and extremely efficacious. And this new pill will offer a good alternative for those patients that can't tolerate current regimes. But again, I think that we are going to be in the UK for certain, we're going to be restricted by cost. Uh, and so I would make a plea to the, uh, the manufacturers that it is priced appropriately. Briefly, Steve, before we finish, I, I think a lot of people watching this who might be very interested in getting hold of this new single pill, they'll want to know how extensively it's been trialed to be absolutely sure that it really has gone through all of the right and tough procedures of testing. Yeah. I mean, I think that the rigors of the trial that have been conducted are, are extremely good. Uh, it's a double-blind um, trial. It's been done by um, uh, experts in the field, and the results, I think, are extremely robust and being published in The Lancet. Uh, I have no... Uh, I think that people can be reassured that the drugs works very well. As for longer-term side effects, then we don't really see those until, um, you know, many years down the line. If I could just say one last thing, the other thing is that people don't, won't be able to access this pill or any other antiretroviral unless they know they're HIV positive. And around the world, one of the biggest problems that we have is that people who are infected don't actually realize they're infected. And so they are unable to access this pill or any other antiviral. Mm. So we must diagnose all of those people who have HIV but don't yet know it. And that's what the Saving right. Lives charity is all about. Yeah, well, a very clear message there. Steve Taylor, thanks very much for joining us on GMT from Birmingham. Now, a 